Hey friend, this is James with ProfitYourKnowledge.com where we help coaches and creators build online businesses that create passive income and can run for them whether they are working or not. One of the best tools to help you do that and just be more productive and literally 10X your productivity whether you have an online business or not is the Toby Chrome extension. This is a free extension you can get through Chrome. And it's pretty amazing, especially if you want to just be more productive in your life. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to use it, how I like to use it in my own business. This is the main dashboard that you have right here to get the Toby Chrome extension. You wanna go up to the extensions tab on your browser and make sure you're in Chrome, obviously, and then go over to manage extensions. From here, you can search all extensions and just type in Toby. Toby Chrome, obviously I have it installed, so it's gonna automatically pop it up. So one thing to note with the Toby Chrome extension is that when you install the extension, Toby, every time you open up a new tab, which I will show you up here, every time you open up a new tab, I have these different tabs, it's gonna open up Toby every single time. So it took me a little bit to get used to it. Now, I like doing that. I just keep Toby always in the, the far left uh, out of all my tabs. So every time I open up a new browser, a new window, Toby is there. Okay, so it's just something to think about, but I'm gonna show you how to use Toby uh, to keep things really organized. But I just wanted to let you know that because I was like, how? why does this keep happening? Because I was so used to not having Toby. So once you get the extension all set up, now you're gonna be inside the dashboard, which is right here. And these are my collections. That's what these different sections are called. So when I click key links, that's my first collection. This is just the, the basic stuff that I use, like my email, my Google Drive, uh, Loom, Voxer is how I stay in touch with clients, analytics, Facebook, Canva, and I just like Stripe, Zoom, all that stuff. I just put it in here. And I like to have what I call key links because they're just the links that I use regularly and I keep it at the top as my first collection. Now you can always drag and drop and move these around as you please. Next I have content because uh, I run a content business. So uh, content's a huge part of my business and I have um, a plan, 60 Days of Kajabi, if you're watching this, you know, and it's new, stay tuned. There's gonna be uh, 60 Kajabi tutorials coming out. It's gonna be a really cool project, but I keep that right at the front so that I have that easily accessible for me. This is a folder specific to content from my Google Drive, uh, content buckets, vidIQ, all these different things, YouTube, Anchor for podcasting and that kind of stuff. Okay, so everything's there related to content. And then enrollment. This is when I'm gonna work with someone, when someone's considering talking with me about how I can help them with their business and create more passive income and make it more automated. Then uh, these are all the different things that I have when it comes to enrollment. And then clients, really simple. I have a client folder in my Google Drive and I get on that and then I save it as, uh, so when I click this, it's just gonna automatically pop up my clients and I, they have their own Google folders as well that I share with them. Uh, and then Voxer is how I stay in touch with them and then Zoom meetings for when we meet each week, okay? Very, very simple. The last collection that I like to have is study. So these are courses and programs that I've invested in and if, you know, if it's a Saturday and I feel like nerding out on some content that I, I purchased, I can come down here, but it's also helpful if I'm uh, writing a sales page and I'm doing copywriting, then I have a copywriting course where I can click on that. Or if it's a YouTube course, I can click on that and then it pops up and then I can research that while I'm doing the actual task, okay? So these are the collections. At the top, you can drag and drop, you can do alphabetical, you can kind of organize your collections a bit more. Uh, f tags, I don't really use, okay? So I'm not really the expert on tags. If you are an expert on tags, then let me know down in the comment how you like to use tags. Uh, view is how everything's gonna look. So if I click on key links and you go back to view, I have it on card right now, which looks like this. You can also do compact, list, or grid if you wanna have another collection over here. So I can move like content here and then open it if you wanted to have them all next to each other you know, clients, whatever. But the way that I'm used to it and the way that I like it is where I do card because they're a bit bigger of a button for me. That's just how I like it. Okay, another cool thing is that you can click right here to expand and you'll open up all of your different tabs, okay? Just easy for you if you have to access something real quick, nice tool. And then collapse if you want to close everything. You know, if you have 
couple different ones open. You can just collapse, get right back here. Uh, very, very easy. Now let's talk about adding a new collection. So a collection is just a collection of different tabs that you use. But when it comes to being more productive and what I like to think about when I build a new collection is thinking about a task that I do in my business. An example is content. These are all the tabs from me making content, realizing that I always use these tabs when I'm creating content. You know, I'll commit a day to making content. And these are all the tabs that I'm gonna use. So what I did was I collect, I opened all the tabs up and just put them into this collection because it's a collection of the tabs that I like to use. I also have enrollment. That is a task that I do. I enroll people. And when I'm enrolling people, I only want to focus on these few tabs. That's it. Okay. With clients, if I'm meeting with a client, I only want to focus on these few tabs. Now, what I'm going to show you is building out a new collection of mine to just give you a demonstration of how this works. Recently on my podcast, which is called the Profit Your Knowledge podcast, super simple. Uh, you can check it out. I started interviewing a lot of people, different experts, bringing in people. It's led to a ton of awesome connections. It's been really fun for me. I like connecting with people, building new relationships with other people who have bigger audiences, etc. It's been awesome. So it's become more of a staple in my business, which is a new task to my business. But I want to make that task as streamlined as possible. So what I'm going to do is right now I have all the different tabs open that I use. And I'll pull this down real quick. Okay, so I have like my Google Drive right here. I have Zoom where I need to connect with people because that's where I host the interviews. I have some interview questions in case we start to lose momentum in the interview. I have my email so I can send them new emails uh, that like, hey, your interview's published. I have an email template that I just created that makes it really easy to upload the video, uh, automate an email that gets sent out to the person with this interview template. All I have to do is change their name because I was writing the same exact thing for every single person. I'm like, I'm just going to make a template. Okay. So that's a Google doc. I just have that open. And then uh, Spotify for podcasters used to be anchor. That's what I use. I just do audio. It's really easy for me. And um, the uh, interviews actually perform a lot better on just the audio. But anyway, I also have Calendly. I use Calendly to send people a link where they can book the time and then auto generates the Zoom link. Okay, all this stuff works together uh, congruently. Okay, so all my tabs are up there and because they're all at the top, they're also over here on this little window on the side. These are all the different tabs that I'm using. Okay, for this specific task. Google Drive, theoretically, I don't need it but I just like to have my Google Drive open. In fact, I'll actually close that tab, okay? Because I don't really use it for the interviews. I typically already have it open, not a big deal. So what I'll do is I'll go over to add a collection and I'm gonna call this interviews. Then we drag them over. So I have that one, I have this one, interview questions, okay, and my Calendly. Now I have all of these in here. And from here, you can move these around if you want to have, you know, Zoom be the first link, these are going to open in this order on your tabs. And what's cool is if you go up here to open tabs inside of any one of these collections, you can hit open tabs and it's automatically going to open up all of the tabs for that task. Okay. This is awesome because I don't need to do any thinking. It's all set up for me. So if I have, you know, sometimes I have multiple interviews in a day and it takes up the whole day because I'm just doing a ton of different interviews or maybe I'm on people's podcasts and whatnot. I'm just gonna go to interviews. I'm gonna hit open up all these tabs and now I can just focus on this specific task. That's what I want you to start thinking about in terms of your business and your own workflow. Now again, we can close this. I'll move it down to like here, okay? That's just kind of where I wanna have it, okay? Fully customizable very, very easy. A great example too is I'll make a new collection uh, when I'm building a new product. If I'm building an online course or a coaching program or something, it entails doing a lot of research, having conversations with people, building out the course content, the sales page, uh, emails, et cetera, et cetera, launch sequence, like all that kind of stuff that goes into it. So I'll make a new collection and I'll just call it, you know, the course name, whatever the name of the course is, and I'll save it. And then I'll pull up the tabs that I use for my research for whatever it is. And I'll put it inside of that collection. And usually if it's me personally, it just works for me. 
Uh, if I if the interviews, for example, was a new online course, I like to keep it at the top above my key links because if I'm building a product, it takes a bit of time, takes a bit of effort. That's usually top priority for me. Right now, I'm not building any. So I'll keep it at the very, very top, okay? But that's how you use the Toby Chrome extension. Um, if you want to learn more about building your own online business and you like the things I talked about here uh, and you wanna be more efficient with your time, I'd highly recommend that you check out five-step action guide that walks you through how to earn your first $500 per month of passive income. Now, it's ideal to focus on passive income because you can start building passive income systems whether you're working in a job or not. It doesn't matter. Even if you're really busy and you already have a successful coaching business or something like that, and you're just working with a lot of clients, you can still build this on the side in as little as three hours per week. That's what I would say, bare minimum, three hours per week. Ideally more though, but that'll get you through. That's like 30 minutes a day. There's a link down in the description called profityourknowledge.com slash guide, and you can pick up your five-step guide to earn your first $500 per month or more in passive income. Let me know what you think about the Toby Chrome extension. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Did I miss anything? Do you want to add to this? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in a comment below. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you in the next one.